everyone welcome back to another video so today i wanted to come on and if you hear noise matilda is laying right near my tripod it's on the table rolling around and being silly so if you hear noise that is um i wanted to show you my progress on the test shawl i still haven't finished it but i'll show you anyway and i also went to the wall stash in Marlin, which I will not do that, um, because I've been wanting to make myself either a knitted cardigan or a knitted jumper for a while, and I thought, you know what, I'm go you are going to fall off there, you are going to fall off, really? Really? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Bubba. Sorry, that was static. Sorry, I didn't mean to get zap you. I zapped you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You go. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So, change spots. Um. So I wanted to show you what I got because I've been wanting to make a jumper or a sweater for a while, and so I chose DK weight yarn just because it will work up faster and yeah because i will you stop touching it you're rolling around on the table it's staticky and now you're touching ow you're touching that now don't matilda seriously this table is staticky i don't know why why it's just a thing today anyway so i have made it into the pink Beautiful, beautiful pink. I might put the blind up a bit more. There we go. So, yeah, this is a beautiful pink. Now, Matilda's decided to play with the bag. So, <clears throat> you know, very well sometimes, aren't you, Matilda? So, as you can see, it goes really, really well with this speckled grey. So, I haven't quite got to the 60 yet. I'm almost there. Um, and then I will start the other bit. Um, I do have, I did have a mark, I've got a marker here. It's, um, lemonade. Oops. Which I got from Nicole, who is at Cold Girl Collective AU. And actually, no, I won't say it because I don't know if she's announced it yet. Never mind. I'll keep, I'll keep that to myself. Um, so... I have been working solid on this. I actually took it to work with me this week and have been adding a couple rows before I start work. Um, so, yeah, I have about that much left as a grey. So, this will go in with my um, sock yarn scraps. But I'm hoping because it's a long weekend here because of Anzac Day. Uh, I will be able to at least get a good chunk of that done. <coughs> oh, and my mum in likes to indulge my um, Disney, especially Minnie Mickey Mouse. As you can tell, I've got Minnie Mickey Mouse everywhere in here. Oops. Uh, and she's like, "Oh, I found you some socks." I'm like, okay, random. They're Minnie and Mickey Mouse socks. So one has is blue with Minnie and Mickey's face on it, and one is just a pink pair. Um, one sock has Minnie's face on it. The other one has Mickey. So that's very cute. Um, Sorry, she's just sent me this message. We both got um, earphones today. Um, and she's like, they'll only connect when they're in my ears. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a bit random. But anyway. I don't know why, because I got them to connect when they weren't, but never mind. So initially I was thinking about possibly doing <clears throat> a fingering weight cardigan or jumper. And I thought, hell no, that is going to take far too long. But I could not leave this colour there. 
I really could not leave this colour there. What are you staring at? There is nothing out there. None of your little friends have come to visit. Hmm. There's a few cats that live around where I am. Um, because I live in like a complex of townhouses. And um there's a few other cats that come around and visit, shall we say. And I thought one of them might have gone past that. No. Um so this is hand dyed. It's the Stella Sock Yarn, 75% wool, 25% nylon, four ply, 100 grams, 400 meters. And it's in the color Snowberry. I just love this. This lighting will not do this justice. Um, it is a little bit more on the rougher side, but obviously once you knit with it and then wash, whatever you make, um, it will come out really, really nice. So, she's getting into I'm not even gonna go there and then my mum I put these on like the counter because I I don't go there as often as what I used to just because I I live you know an hour and a half from there but if I go to my mum sometimes I will go across like especially if it's on the weekend I'll go over there and um like my mum saw me pick this up she's like oh of course because you know it's really pretty, but yeah, you know, of course it's purple. Um, and then I was like, oh, this is really, really pretty color. And I was like, oh, imagine a cardigan or a jumper in that. So, Matilda, get out of it. Quick. Hop off. Matilda. Wait. Get off. Wait. Get off. Quick. Thank you. Um, she had seven skeins of this and I bought them all. I put them, I put all these on the counter and mum's like, I'm not even gonna stay here and watch how much this is gonna cost. So because I I'm a loyal customer of hers, um I do get I did get a little bit of a discount um, and I think too because I bought so many skeins so it's this beautiful color like and this is their own hand dyed yarn how beautiful is this um, it is an 8 ply 100% merino so it's gonna be so warm um, 100 grams it is super wash which is nice and it, there's 180 meters per skein so so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna leave them in the hanks for now until I finish a couple of my other projects um, I'm hoping to have something finished before the sheep and wool show because um, she's like oh, are you gonna knit it or crochet and I said I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do she's like we'll take five and then I can put these the other two aside for you if you need them and you can just let me know I'm like, no, I'll just take all of them. Mum's like, what? <laughs> Mum has been with me once to the sheep show. And I think that was enough for her. I mean, I always only take a certain amount of cash with me. Um, obviously, I have my card. Like, my normal debit card. Because um, I don't have credit, any credit cards anymore. Um, but, like, I always take a specific amount. And there's always... I always have, like, a mental checklist in my head of what I want um and initially I was thinking about buying a sweater quantity of yarn at the sheep show anyway so I've kind of done that before I've gone there um Matilda wait get in that this is why the door is shut while I'm at work because if you were to come in here you would get into everything anyway so I don't know what the colorway on this is there's no specific color but it is beautiful and I was like I have to have it mum's like what so yeah I'm gonna leave it in this bag until I decide what pattern I'm gonna do 
I might even have enough to possibly do a um, a flax. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how we go. So, yay! I'm very excited. Um. Mom's like, oh my god, I can't believe you just spent that much money on yarn. And I'm like, you know me. You shouldn't be surprised by this. I'm like, but I'm making a cardigan, so I need, you know, a bigger bear. Still, I think she was a bit horrified. She's like, when do you get paid next? I'm like, next week. She's like, oh, okay. But, um, yeah. I, I, I think with this, I'm going to make myself um, a hat. With it, um, just because I don't, I don't know that I want to make socks out of it. I'm just not yet, but it's just so pretty. And I can imagine it will, when it's knit up. Oh, so good. Anyway, so yeah, I this week I need to get. Oh, this week as in pay week i need to get some more ink for my printer because my phone has so many patterns on it that i've downloaded from ravelry or i purchased on etsy and i need to print them out so i can get rid of them off of my phone um i can keep them on my ipad as well but um sometimes it's just easier to have the physical copy of a pattern so yeah i i need to work, sit down and work out what pattern I'm going to use that yarn for um, but I'm definitely going to wear it to the sheep show whatever I make um, I also got some stickers from Amazon just like little thank you stickers for my business and I'd ordered some cards now I thought they were postcard size but obviously I didn't read the listing properly because they're business card size little because I was going to get, I wanted to get like postcard size. So you can write, has thank you on the front, but then you can write a little message on the back. They're business sized cards. Which is fine, that still works, but it's not what I wanted. Anyway, never mind. Oh, and of course I've got my Mickey Mouse t shirt on. And my Natopia coffee. I don't know if you guys will be able to see them. They're um got coffee cups and cookies that coffee beans on them. Da, da. Trust me, if she did Disney ones, I did oh and this is another project down here. This is a blanket that I need to finish. Another one that I need to finish. So yes, <clears throat> stuck on there. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some more projects finished, um, at least over the next couple of months before the sheep show, just so that when I do go to the sheep show, I can actually cast on some new projects after that. Um, <coughs> tomorrow I'm going to get all of like the boring stuff done around the house like the washing, cleaning so that on Monday I need to go through my wardrobe and get rid of the clothes that I don't wear because it's just out of hand and then I need to go through my project bags that have yarn in them decide if I'm going to finish the project or not if not it needs to be frogged so that is the goal. And then projects that I want to finish, I will continue working on those after I get this shawl finished. So that is the plan. But <sighs> we can only try. Anyway, I hope you guys 
are having a good start to your weekend or end to your week whenever you are watching this or you're having a good weekend at the moment if you're in the middle of the weekend um let me know what you're working on it down below or if you're like me and you need to have a project cull because you have too many projects started and not enough finished another thing that i want to do is try to start making have one project for myself and one project that i'm making for my etsy shop that's something else that i need to work on but at my new job i have um, I'm doing a different shift every day. Sometimes I do the same shift like during the week. Like there might be a couple of days where I'm doing 9.15 to 5.15. Um, but I do have a couple of earlier finishes as well, which is nice. Um, so you're not like stuck doing the same shift week after week after week. Which works because then you can schedule appointments or you can get things done that you can't normally get done when you finish at 5 or 5.30 or whatever. So... I like it. I like it. Everyone's really nice there. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really loving it. So I'm glad I moved from my other job. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a good weekend and are staying well. And I will see you all again really soon. Bye.